Hello and welcome to Coffee with Carrie. Thank you very much for being here today. I'm already so uncomfortable with the whole what not to wear thing. I just don't like being a person who stresses the negative. I would rather tell you what I feel I like to wear and maybe you would like to try to wear, but the whole not thing just makes me, I don't like it. It's just too in the negative and I try to be in the positive. But I'm going to give it a go. If that's at all interesting to you, stick around. That's what we're doing today. What not to wear. Okay, so number one, there is one thing that I'm sort of comfortable saying, and that is because it probably goes from whatever age to whatever age you could possibly be, whether you've wandered in here absentmindedly in your 20 or whether you're 92, and that is just a general rule I've heard over and over, which is if you are doing cleavage, which I am not because I'm not wearing the right bra to create cleavage, but if I were, then I would need to make sure that on my bottom half, I was not also revealing too much leg. You have to pick between one or the other, I've been told. Either pick decollete, boobs, or legs, but showing both legs and boobs is not the most flattering or classy look that we could be wearing. So. I'm cool with that one. Number one, not boobs and legs, one or the other. I'm a huge fan of women wearing hats. I see some great Instagrams with women, young women, middle-aged women wearing fabulous hats, pulling them off and looking awesome. I don't happen to be a woman who feels very much like myself when I wear a hat, usually. I'll try it every once in a while, but I'm just not rocking it. So I feel comfortable with this rule. If you love rocking a hat, make sure that you would not also see that hat on anyone in the royal family over the age of 80. I guess what I'm saying is if the queen mother is wearing the same hat, you're too young for that. You're only in your 50s. So find another hat probably if you want. If maybe. <laughs> Number three, I'm going to go from the head to the toes here, and I feel comfortable with this one because any doctor would tell you the same, which is don't wear shoes that are changing the shape of your feet permanently. <laughs> and it also leads me to a part B where I'm going to stretch myself. Years and years of playing in a band at weddings, and I would see women in heels. And to me, they weren't walking in a manner that I would imagine they do on a regular day-to-day -day basis. They looked uncomfortable in these heels and the walk was a little stilted and uncomfortable looking. So I guess what I'm saying is if you are going to wear heels and you're not typically a person who wears heels, practice. That's all. Practice and look in a mirror until you are walking like you normally walk and you feel like you have good balance and your feet are doing what they're supposed to be doing one in front of the other. And I hope I'm not insulting anybody because you can do whatever you want and whatever heels you choose. But your podiatrist would thank me for telling you to not wear shoes that are literally pushing your toes together and giving you bunions and hammer toes, if you can help it. Number four comes courtesy of Stacy and Clinton from What Not to Wear back in the day. If you were a fan of Stacy and Clinton and didn't have a problem with them telling you what not to wear, then this one should be just fine. But I remember it from there. And they would say that women of a certain age, and I'm sure 50 counts, should not wear tiny floral prints or tiny prints. That as we get older, we should be bold and brave and wearing larger prints. They said that little prints are for little girls and that as a woman we are much more attractive in a bolder bigger print if you're going to make a floral statement i guess they're saying make it go big or go home something like that i'm not taking any credit for telling you what not to do i'm blaming it all on those two number five is that if you're here wanting to know what not to wear in your 50s you're kind of missing out on one of the really cool things about being in your 50s, which is that you can wear whatever you want because you're 50. You're not competing with anyone. You're not trying to be somebody that you're not. You're trying to express yourself with your clothing and nobody can tell you how to express yourself. 
So I suggest that you wear whatever makes you feel comfortable, whatever makes you feel most like yourself. So use it as self-expression and have fun and play with fashion. That's what it's for. There are really no rules. What comes around goes around. I guess they did say that if you wore it the first time, you can't wear it the second time, but pshaw. You can do whatever you want. You're over 50. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you found it interesting. Also, I want to mention that we don't really care what people think anymore because we're above that. We're beyond that. And I'm going to link you to a video right here that I suggest if you missed it, you check that out because that will drive home my point that you just got to do you. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that ring bell so you're notified every time I upload a new one. And I appreciate you being here as always. And until next time, have a good one.